The second lesson in this module will introduce you to the various Word applications for creating a document. In this lesson, you will learn how to enter or delete text in a document. You will also learn how to insert symbols in a document, the configuration of non-printing characters in a document, the method for editing and selecting text in a document, and moving text in and between documents. Finally, you will learn about the purpose of the undo and redo commands in Word. Let's learn how to enter and delete text in a document. To enter text in the document, click the mouse pointer on the desired location on the page. A vertical blinking line will appear on the selected location. This is called the insertion point. At this point, use the keyboard to enter the desired text in the document. In this example, we will type this is a sample test. The text will appear in the document on your screen. To delete the text, click the mouse pointer at the end of the word or sentence you want to delete. This will place the insertion point at the end of the text. Press and hold down the backspace key on the keyboard till the desired portion of the text is deleted. Alternatively, you can also place the insertion point at the beginning of the text to be deleted, and then press and hold down the delete key on the keyboard till the desired text is deleted. Word allows the insertion of symbols that are not available on the keyboard, for example, euro sign, copyright sign, alpha, beta, etc. To insert a symbol, Click the mouse pointer on the desired location in the document. Then select the Insert tab on the ribbon and click the Symbol button. You will be presented with a drop-down menu of several symbols. Select the desired symbol. In this example, we will select the Euro symbol. The selected symbol will appear at the insertion point. You can view more symbols by clicking on the More Symbols or from the detailed list of symbols shown in the drop-down. Non-printing characters are the characters that take up the space in a document or have a formatting function but do not appear on the printed page. Examples of such non-printing characters include spaces, tabs, paragraph breaks, etc. Let us learn how to display these non-printing characters. Click the Formatting Marks button on the Home tab of the ribbon. The colour of the button will change, indicating the selection. The document will then display all the non-printing characters. To hide the non-printing marks, click the Formatting Marks button once again. Word applications will allow you to select characters, words, lines, paragraphs, as well as the entire body text for performing various operations. Let's now learn how to select a desired portion of the text in a document. To select the entire paragraph, place the mouse pointer before the character T. Click and hold down the left button on the mouse and drag the mouse over till the end of the paragraph. Word allows the user to edit the text in a variety of ways. The user can enter missing text in between words, delete content and type it again, or even overtype the existing text using the insert function. To insert a new word, first identify where a new word is to be inserted. For example, this, the wrong report. The word is is missing in the sentence. To insert the word, place the mouse pointer just before the word THE and click once. Type the word IS 
using the keyboard and press the space bar. The sentence is now complete. Let's now learn how to delete and enter text in a document. We will use the example of the sentence, This is the wrong report. Place the mouse pointer after the word wrong and click once. The insertion point will appear after the word wrong. Hold down the backspace key on the keyboard until the word is deleted. Now type the word sample using the keyboard. The sentence is now changed. The find function in Word searches for a term or word throughout the entire document and highlights it for the user. The replace function enables the user to find text and then replace it with another term or words. To use the find function, click find in the editing group on the home tab. Alternatively, press the Ctrl and F keys together on the keyboard. The navigation pane on the left will open. Use the keyboard to type the word report in the search field in the navigation pane and press the enter key. If the word is present in the document, it will appear as highlighted text. Word will also present a list of sentences where the term appears. This will be in the left pane under the label Results. To use the Replace function, click Replace in the Editing group on the Home tab. Alternatively, press the Ctrl and H keys together on the keyboard. The Find and Replace pop-up box will appear on the screen. In the Replace With box, type Proposal. Then click Replace All. Click the OK button to make the change. Click Close in the dialog box. The word Report will be placed by the word Proposal in the entire document. Word allows the removal or copying of text from one part of a document to another. The text can be pasted to another part of the existing document text or to another document. This feature is very effective and makes editing documents a lot easier. To copy the text, hold down the left button on the mouse and drag your mouse over the portion of the text that you want to copy. The selected text will be highlighted. Then click the Copy button on the Home tab. The highlighted text will be copied. To paste the selected text, click the mouse pointer in the desired location on the document. The insertion pointer will move to the selected spot. Click the Paste button on the Home tab. The desired text will be copied to the new location. To cut and paste text, hold down the left button on the mouse and drag your mouse over the portion of the text you want to move. The text will be highlighted as shown. Click the Cut button on the Home tab. The selected text will disappear from the original place in the document. To paste this text, click the mouse pointer on the desired location in the document. The insertion pointer will move to the selected spot. Click the Paste button on the Home tab. The text will be copied to the new location. Let's now learn how to copy text from one document and paste it in another document. To copy the text, hold down the left button on the mouse and drag the mouse over the portion of the text to be copied. The text will be highlighted as shown. Then click the Copy button on the Home tab. The selected text is copied. Now move the mouse pointer over the Word icon in the taskbar. Opened Word documents will appear in the preview window. 
move the mouse pointer over the appropriate word window. For example, latest report, and click the preview window. Windows will switch and the other Word document will appear on the screen. To paste the text, click the mouse pointer in the desired location on the document. The insertion pointer will move to the selected spot. Click the Paste button on the Home tab. Text will be copied to the new location. Now move the mouse pointer over the Word icon in the taskbar and choose the document from where you want to cut text. To cut the text and paste it to another document, hold down the left button on the mouse and drag your mouse over the portion of the text to be cut and copied. The text will be highlighted as shown. Click the Cut button on the Home tab. Move the mouse pointer over the appropriate Word window, for example, Latest Report. Click the Preview window. Windows will switch and the other Word document will appear on the screen. To paste the text, click the mouse pointer in the desired location on the document. The insertion pointer will move to the selected spot. Click the Paste button on the Home tab. Text will be copied to the new location. The undo command in Word erases the last change done to the document, thereby reverting the document to its older state. The redo command redoes the last action performed by the user in the document. To undo an action, click the mouse pointer before the word is in the document. Type the word is again. The sentence now has repeated words. Click the Undo button on the Quick Access toolbar. The sentence is back to its original state. To redo an action, click the Redo button on the Quick Access toolbar. The word IS is now back in the sentence. Practical Exercises
you have completed the lesson introduction to word processing. In this lesson, you learned how to enter or delete text in a document. You also learned how to insert symbols in a document. The configuration of non-printing characters in a document. The method for editing and selecting text in a document. And moving text in and between documents. Finally, you learned about the purpose of the undo and redo commands in Word.